Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to learn how to look 10 pounds slimmer instantly. Now, I know that sounds like a gimmick and a come on, but it really is true. And a lot of you will probably say, well, Beth is kind of on the slim side anyway. And so she just kind of looks like that. And the reality is I have learned to dress slimmer over the years because long ago when I started out, I really could look quite pudgy and I still can if I wear the wrong things. And I wanted to share that information with you. And if you're not a subscriber and you love all things anti-aging and trying to be the best woman you can be in your second half, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just send you notifications of my future videos. Now let's get down to this. And I will start by saying that when I started to do this 10 pound slimmer video, I went to the internet and I started to look up articles about it and all of that. And I thought that's just kind of dry, dusty stuff. Everyone knows that stuff. And then I thought, well, maybe I should just show you the tricks that I use. And they're very common sense things and you've heard most of them, but I do think that they really help me look more slim. Now, first let's start with accessories and they are very slimming or they can make you look fatter depending upon what you're wearing. The first thing to do is to remember that you want to be long and lean and vertical if you're trying to look like you're slimmer. And so here is a picture of how a long necklace, in fact, a group of necklaces, just draws the eye up and down, which helps you look longer and leaner. And the second thing you can do is emphasize your face and that takes away from other areas that you don't want to be so prominent. And I have done that for years, ever since the 80s when those big necklaces were really in. I really like to emphasize my face and my neck because that drew attention away from the tummy area and also the hips and thighs. And so that kind of helps to put the emphasis on your face to wear a big, bold statement necklace. And you can also use bracelets to kind of draw the eye to where you want them. For instance, in the third picture here, you can see I've used a large statement bracelet. It just takes the attention to the bracelet as opposed to keeping it in the midsection, that kind of thing. And earrings can also be accessories to help you look longer and leaner. For instance, I have long earrings on now. I like this kind of long boho look. And it does and it kind of elongate your face and make your face look kind of slimmer. And I'll show you a before and after here. In the first picture, as you can see, I have little round pearl button earrings and they're fine and they're a classic, but they really do nothing to elongate my face. And in the second picture, I've given myself long earrings, which gives you a vertical emphasis, just makes you look up and down instead of side to side. And it just helps your face look a little slimmer. Now there are other accessories which can put the emphasis in the right place. The first is a scarf. And as you know from my channel, I absolutely love scarves. I must have 30 of them and they are wonderful. In this instance, I have a leopard scarf and that just kind of brings your eye up to the face and the shoulder area. And it also helps to balance out a little extra we may have in the hips and thighs. And another accessory we can use to help define our waist is a nice thick belt. Right now the slim belts were in, but the wider belts are coming back. And I'm so glad about that because as you can see, that wide belt kind of covers up the tummy and the muffin top area and just really defines that waist very nicely. Now the next pictures contain something that I wear all winter long and I absolutely love them. The first is a turtleneck and actually I've tried to wear them here on camera and they just don't look very good on video, but I absolutely love them in real life. Here, let me show you that. You can see it just kind of emphasizes the neck and makes the neck look a little bit longer. And then it provides you with a slim look through your middle. And I like the turtlenecks to be as long as possible to really go down maybe even lower than the one in the picture there. And the second thing that I wear a lot of is fur around the collar. I absolutely love puffy vests. I think they emphasize the top part of your body and make your legs look longer and slimmer on the bottom. And all of that fur around your face just really emphasizes your face and brings the attention where it needs to be. Now, when we're talking about looking 10 pounds slimmer, we're really concentrating on getting more vertical up and down lines. And in the next picture, as you can see, it's important to emphasize length. You can see in the first jacket there, it's a longer jacket, which really elongates the body there. The second picture is a long cardigan sweater, which again, elongates the body. And the third picture is just a floral tunic. And I will say that generally floral prints are not as slim making as just a straight black or more simple pattern, but a longer tunic blouse like that really elongates you and makes you look long and lean through the middle. Now, another uniform that I wear all the time, which is really fashionable, it's very, very classic, and it also makes you look very slim, is the blazer and jeans combination. And here it is in a magazine there. I can't remember what magazine this is from, but as you can see, it just looks really chic and you can wear it over normal jeans or distressed jeans. It really doesn't matter. 
and to look as slim as possible in that jacket, I again think you should make that jacket as long as possible. And I'll show you a little before and after of me. On the left side, you can see I have a short jacket on and that's really not doing me any favors because it's sort of emphasizing my hips and thighs. And ladies, I do have them, even though you don't see them under this table, I've got them. And then in the second picture there, I have a longer dark gray jacket and it just skims over the hips and thighs and really just makes everything look a lot slimmer. Now, everybody always knows that you really shouldn't wear vertical stripes, but I continue to buy them. I don't know why. And I'll show you a good example of why I shouldn't buy them in the next picture. Here I am, as you can see on the left, I have vertical stripes on and they're really not doing me any favors. I really do look like I have 10 extra pounds in the picture on the left versus the right picture. And in the second picture, as you can see, I really do look 10 pounds slimmer by using a vertical line as opposed to the horizontal line. I have a little bit of horizontal there, but it's broken up by that diagonal and it just looks longer and leaner. Plus that rule is in play about the longer tunic making you look slimmer and you can definitely see it in that picture. Now the next outfit I'm going to show you is one of my favorite items and that is the black pencil skirt. I absolutely love pencil skirts and in fact over the years I used to buy a lines and things like that and I just think they you know they start at your waist and then they make you look wider out this way I don't think anybody looks good in an a line skirt or a pleated skirt I think for the most part pretty much everyone looks the best in a nice a line skirt and here is an example of that I have the long turtleneck on I have the big wide belt and then I have the black pencil skirt. I have black tights on and black shoes. And that outfit also emphasizes another very important principle of slim dressing. And that is that it's always important to dress as monochromatically as possible. All black, all red, all camel, it doesn't matter. But if you're the same color up and down, you're just going to look slimmer. Now the next picture I'm going to show you represents one of my pet peeves. And that is nude legs when you're anything past about 25. And I know that sounds like I'm an old lady but I really do like hose and so once in a while I will wear a nude leg you know with a sundress or something where I feel I must but for the most part I really still prefer hose but the way to make your hose more current is to use black hose and so this is the next picture I'm going to show you there I am on the left with bare legs if you could see them up close they're just not very attractive and there I am on the right side with black hose and again it just elongates your leg and it just is much more slimming. Now as we're winding down I'll get a little more casual into something that I really don't like a whole lot which is sweatshirts and I do wear them around the house in the winter because sometimes you just want to be comfortable and you don't care how you look but here is a picture of how I look in a sweatshirt and there I am with my master gardener shirt on. You know, I look kind of fat, actually kind of chubby in the middle. But in the second picture, I've taken that sweatshirt material, that wonderful fleece, and it's used here in a beautiful long tunic. It has a little zipper on it. But as you can see in the before picture, in the traditional sweatshirt, I do look about 10 pounds heavier, maybe even 15 pounds heavier than I do in the fleece tunic. Now, the last picture I'm going to show you is kind of just a general principle, and that is that sometimes it's great to dress long and lean and slim, and sometimes it's nice to just dress comfortably and to not care. And this last sweater is a sweater that I bought at a garage sale when my kids were young. I had probably had this thing for 20 years. I used to shop a lot of garage sales when the kids were young, and here it is. That is my little woolly reindeer sweater and I make a habit to wear that at least once a Christmas season. They say that's an ugly Christmas sweater, but something about it just feels good to me, feels comfortable. I don't care that it makes me look a little fat. It's just a great memory for me. And that's what some clothes do for us. They make us feel comfortable and good, and that's pretty important too. Well, thank you for taking this little journey with me and taking a tour of my dressing slimmer secrets. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to see more fashion and anti-aging type videos, I am over 50, shall we say. Actually, I am 60, but who's counting? But if you'd like to make your second half your best half, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just send you notifications of my twice weekly videos. I do videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been using these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. Love Louise Hay. Oh, here it is. Interesting. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. The masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. I am at peace and all is well. 
friends, I absolutely love this card. At first I was a little confused about it, but it is so important. And it's something that in the first half especially I didn't do very well. I was way on the feminine side, super emotional, super high strung, up, down, worried, that kind of thing. And I've really always said to my husband, Ali, I've said, you know, I wish they had a book that could teach me to think like a man thinks, to think like Ali thinks. He's pretty stable and non-emotional and, you know, that's just kind of comforting and, and a nice way to be sometimes. Just for today, let's look at both sides of our personality and let's really have an appreciation of both. Let's look at the feminine, nurturing, emotional side and also the more masculine, more matter-of-fact, more take-charge kind of side. And let's put those together and have a fabulous second half. Take care. See you next time.